What up guys? Um, so my car's been acting funny. Um, whenever I step on the throttle, I get this jerking sensation out of my car. So I wanted to fix it and I'm pretty sure it's the distributor cap. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually install a distributor cap. It's really simple. Um, this is all of it right here. I got a rotor in there and a distributor cap. So one thing I want to mention, I was doing research online about these and so the one I have in here currently is a stainless steel distributor cap. The, these these terminals here are actually stainless instead of brass and I've been reading online that the brass ones actually contact better they they last longer stuff like that so the brass ones were actually cheaper here here's the part number off of a uh, that's the MSD part number I bought it off of uh, what, where did I get it from uh, Summit Racing I got this from Summit Racing so it, it was about thirty bucks and then I got two day next day on it for like twenty bucks so I could fix my car without running rich, you know, I'm not trying to waste my gas, but uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm going to disconnect the battery first, I'm going to take the negative off, I have a hot, uh, quick way to swap that off here, you can see, just undo that bolt right there, and then it slides that off, and then I don't actually have to undo that there, um, so yeah, I'm going to undo that, and then I'm going to show you guys how to pop this off, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and you can see I removed that there, and then I made it leaning up against that, so that's not going to accidentally come over and touch that while I'm operating on it. Um, so, this video serves two purposes, right? So, first I need to make sure I know where all my plugs are coming and going to, because they got to be the same on the new one. So, first I'm documenting that. So, the way this works is this comes in here from the coil pack. This creates the high voltage, sends it to here. So, first thing we're going to do is pop that off. And now I'm going to pop this guy open, and I'm going to hook up my uh, everything the same way with the, this knob here, the same as that knob up there, and I'm going to hook them all up, then I'm going to pull that out, pull the rotor off of that one, and put it in. So let's go. Alright, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see too well, because I had my phone just propped up, but anyway, so I'm just going to pop this guy out here, I'm going to set my rotor up there, and I'm going to set this here. I don't need this anymore. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from counterclockwise starting from the top filling these all in making sure that this is oriented the same way so we can see that this guy will pop off and go here and so on and so forth my housemate's coming home so I'm gonna have to cut the video <laughs> So what we do, that one's all plugged up except for one which can't quite reach, so I'll do that one last because, you know, there's only one left so I know where it goes. So these clips, you just kind of throw to the side like that, and this should just pop straight off like that. I don't know, maybe these, yeah, they're corroded, and uh, so we're replacing that, and then so we got to keep an idea of where that rotor is positioned because then this one will go in that same way all right I just want to point out here look at the new one sorry I'm shaking a little bit and there's the old one look how worn down that is here here's look how thick the new one is look how look how skinny the old one is so uh, yeah and that definitely looks like steel stainless maybe, I don't maybe not stainless but it looks like steel and this one that's definitely brass and then that goes to, to steel maybe I don't know why they would do that if this is the high voltage part, but uh, this should work a lot better now. Okay, so the way you would take this out is this is just resting in that little groove there, and so it just slides out like that, and then we just take our new one and put it in here like that, and then slide it onto that groove right there. Now our new rotor is installed. So now all I gotta do is take this cap, stick this back on top. like so and then strap that down put the last one in and we're good to go all right and then last thing we have to do is put on where our spark actually gets supplied from like that maybe pull that wire out of the way P make sure everything is tight and you have just installed a distributor cap 
All right, so I just want to make uh, one last video here. So I actually installed this backwards because I was copying this, this layout here. And so this one here is 180 from that one. So what I did to fix it is I pulled this. It's fixed now, right? So what I did is I pulled off all the plugs and put them on the right position here. Then I went and put that one, that cap on 180 so that this part here slid over the notch like it was supposed to because it was on the other side on this one. It's here, but the, the way I had it installed was like this, so, and yeah, so, anyway, so I, I took it apart and I fixed it up, so now we're going to do a test start. Alright, so here we are. Uh, I put a brick under the tire because I'm on a hill, so I'm going to push in the clutch and give her some cranks. Wow, started right up! Yeah, I know, don't judge me on the miles, okay? I got it for 1500 bucks. Put a transmission in it myself with my dad for 500 bucks that I bought on eBay. The, obviously, no labor costs because we did it ourselves. Um, oh, and uh, let's give this some revs here. She sounds pretty good. And let's, I'll show you guys the seat that I got. So the seat costs like 100 bucks on Amazon. It's not like a professional like racing seat. It just looks like it's got the nice, nice cushions here to hold you in. But it's really cheap. It was like this is a beater car, guys. Come on, like uh, paint job done myself. Don't even care how it looks. Like there's mud all over this thing. I don't want to get my license plate in here, but like, yeah, she's nasty. But you know, 1,500 bucks plus maybe another thousand bucks in money to throw into it to fix her up. I've owned it for about two years now. And yeah, this is the first time you guys are seeing a video of it, so sorry about that, but yeah, I guess I'll end it here. And that, that's how you just change a distributor cap.